of Save the Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing? I hope. So this is what we're going to be playing with. We're going to be playing with the items within our P. Louise small budget advent calendar that I was gifted from the Wilma Finger Boo. So if you want to see what to neutral look I created for Christmas, because it's going to my parents, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Hey everybody, are we ready? We are going to use the majority out of the items of the Make Make in the Memories Budget Box Edition P. Louise Mystery Box that I was gifted by the fabulous Wilma Fingerdo. Um, I'm not going to use any of the skincare. I Some of those items I am working on different ones, so I will incorporate them in. And when I do my skincare regime, if I've started them, I will discuss that then. But we're just going to do all the makeup things that were in this box. And then I think one or two one at least one other P. Louise that wasn't in the box that I have that I will need to complete my look. Okay so this is going to be my Christmas look. I'm going to my parents. My parents are very conservative. Um, not that I don't wear bright makeup when I go visit them but I decided to um, make it easy on myself and let's do a neutral look, which fits perfectly with the majority of things that I got in the P. Louise mystery box. So the, I guess the star of the show, whoops, hold on, can I get it out of the box? Come on, I don't wanna rip the box yet. Just push it out, all right, there we go. Is the It Takes Two, so you know, eyeshadow palettes are my favorite. It lights up, which is fantastic, and it is these neutral. So each neutral shade comes with a neutral shimmer. We also got this, um, it's a liquid eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use it as base. I do have P. Louise base, but I thought since we're doing a super neutral look, let's try this and use this as a base for these. And then we've also got this great two-sided brown liner that we're gonna try. And then we're also going to do cheeks, highlights, and lips. Oh, and brows using P. Louise. I think just um, foundation, powder, bronzer, and mascara will not be P. Louise, but everything else will be. So we're gonna start with this first. And then I did a video um, starting to use my Sigma Beauty brushes that I bought for um, Black Friday. Oh, always remember to shake this. When I first tried to do a little test, it came out a little bit watery, but once you shake it, you get to the color. So let's just do a little bit. And as I was saying, I was playing with um, my Sigma brushes that I got for Black Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I thought I will continue on with these for a bit. Maybe more than a first impression. So like I said, we're gonna use this as an eye primer. It goes on really nice, as you can see here. It is a thin formula, which is I think nice for um, liquid eyeshadows. And the reason why I say this is I think that if they're too thick, that's when you get the cracking. And so I don't wanna build this up too much, but this is going on really nice. So that was that teeny weeny dip, and that went on really nice. This is a nice base that we can use. I know that this is supposed to be a concealer brush or like under eye powder brush, but I thought this might be nice to play with the eye primer. Such a nice brush. It's got this interesting shape, so you can kind of get nicely into the nooks and crannies, per se. And there we go. So yeah, normally, because we're German, we celebrate on Christmas Eve, but we had a huge dump of snow on Thursday and Friday. So my parents and I decided to let's not do Christmas Eve this year. It had started to rain, but we didn't think it had rained enough to get rid of a good chunk of snow. And we wanted just to make sure that there was no ice, so it'd be good to drive. And I'm going over for actual Christmas day. Who to thunk it? The North American way. <laughs> Normally it's Christmas Eve and then Christmas day. When I was younger, we would go to like Stanley Park or 
you know, walk in the neighborhood if the weather was too bad. Just do, you know, an easy day for Christmas day. Enjoy any presents that we got. And there we go. We don't do too many presents this year. Sometimes if I find some stuff or every year since I've been an adult, um, either sometimes I get money or some little doodad. And if I find some stuff that I think that they would like, like they're into puzzles this year, so I got them a puzzle. My mom loves hot sauces, so I found one that's supposed to be explosively hot. It's actually clear, which I thought was quite interesting. She likes wine, so I got some wine. And then I went to a German market and I picked up all these fun um, things at the German market that I thought they would like. So, so it's kind of like a gift package for Christmas. Alrighty, so now we've got this on as a base. This looks really nice. It was easy to blend. I don't at the moment see anything doing weird or creasy. So I think this will be great as an eye primer. But also if you wanted to do a one and done or just something really simple, that does pretty nicely. All right, so we're gonna go play with our beautiful It Takes Two. Um, what is it? Half of my heart belongs to you. Oh, there we go. It's like best friends. Cute. Alrighty. And again, I'm really impressed that this lights up. But I guess once the batteries are done, there's no way to change it. But, but that's fun. Alrighty. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to start with the darker half of the one here. And this one is called Me and You. Me being the matte and you being the shimmer. And then we're going to go with another fluffyish brush, but with a bit of an angle. And then we're going to go into the shade Me, which is the dark brown. So we can get a nice outer edge. And then we'll see how this works on top of um, this liquid shadow as a base. I might do a wing it up a little bit. Try and lift our eye upwards. I only have one other P. Louise palette. It's the Worldy palette. I very much enjoy that. It took me a long time to pull the trigger on it. It's a really nice palette. So I've been very intrigued to um, try more of their shades. Would I have been more happier if it was a color palette? Of course. But I suppose one or two neutral <laughs> in your collection is good. They do come in handy. I go into more important meetings or visiting my parents or you know or some types of events sometimes you need to be a little bit neutral so this went on really really nice went over the liquid shadow and it's seeming to blend up nice it does have some payoff and it goes on quite nicely here I think I'm gonna make it paint that a little bit always fix that with a sponge but there we go I like these brushes they're really nice and fluffy I only have one P Louise brush it's a little blender I could have brought that out too but I just remembered right now so there is that no I hear her brushes are really good the one that I do have is like these ones really nice and soft go oh yeah that looks good getting that nice lifts up. Yeah, that's really pretty. And this is a very warm brown. So they kind of go from like a dark brown and as they get closer they get kind of almost like a butterscotch to a honey color maybe. So we're gonna go into Trust It. So this next one, oh, this is just called Trusted. So maybe this is me and you, Trusted, Honesty and Never Apart. But I liked that, that this was kind of two-parted, so I could call that me and you. So anyways, we're gonna go into Trusted and we're gonna do that for the middle. I'm going to take on this little brush here. Center. And again, I'm not seeing anything breaking apart or splitting with that liquid shadow. So this may be a liquid shadow that I will 
we could use more. Maybe I need more colors in there. But we have to wait till my year, year no buy is over. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. So my mom is making a completely plant-based Christmas dinner. I'm very excited about that. She actually went out and found egg replacer and a version of tofurkey that was plant-based. And with it, with the liqu liquid faux egg, she's able to make my favorite dumplings. It's going to be good. And hopefully she's made my favorite cookies. She only makes them once a year. She knows that generally I don't need a Christmas present as long as I get her cookies. I do not share them. They're traditional al German almond presents and no, you can't have any. It's the one thing I don't share. All right, that's really, that's really nice. So let's blend it a little bit more with a darker shade. So you guys should let me know down below what you did for Christmas. Did you get anything good? Did you get any makeup? I was very excited for the first time in years and years and years and years for Christmas. And I mean years and years and years and years makeup. So that was great. And makeup that included skincare too. It's funny, if this would have been maybe three years ago, I probably would have been like, no, 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 if I'm buying, buying or getting a makeup advent calendar, I want it to be all makeup. But I've been really trying to work at get my, getting my skin to do really good. I am tragically in love with a eye cream that I'm testing. It's pr I haven't checked it. I have a feeling it's too expensive and it's not something I can maintain. And then I will have to go back to my other inky list one. But there we are. Okay, so we've blended this in quite nicely. I'm trying not to make this a thousand hour video, but I also want to really showcase these beautiful things in the advent calendar. And they really play more with P. Louise. Like I said, I've only ever had their bases and an eyeshadow palette. So I've not tried a lot of other things. Um, my friend Martha had gotten a little, um, one of the monthly P. Louise mystery box. She got the um, Hold You Down eyebrow gel. And then um, Wilma had sent me as an extra, she had a little, one of the mini sizes of a brow gel and she doesn't really use brow gels. So, but I thought since um, this one was already opened, um, she gave it a little dip and a try and didn't like it. And I was like, no, I'll take it. Try and see how that is. Let's see how, um, when my eyebrows are like this, where they're clean and they've just been recently done, I just like using a gel. If um, they're a little bit unruly, then I like to use a little bit more color to kind of clean it up a bit. But there we go. So we're, I think we're nice and blended here. And then what are we gonna look at next? So I think I do want one more lighter shade. Um, so I'm wondering if I should, if I was thinking at first to go into honesty and then just kind of go one shade up. But like depending on how you hold here, you can see that they seem more similar. So I think I'm gonna go with this lightest shade in Never Apart and we're gonna see how that works. And then I'm just going to take this little brush here. Um, I guess I should have looked at what they were. This was the E30 pencil. And then we're gonna go into, let's call it Never from Never Apart. <laughs> and ooh, that's a very pretty color there. And let's bring that up to the front. Oh yeah, this one's got um, it's a nice payoff for such a pale shade. And it's a nice warmer pale shade, like it's not my skin tone, but it's still lighter. So you can definitely, if you have a darker skin tone, this would definitely, sh I would think would show up nicely. Or not look too stark. I'm going to have to clean the middle a little bit there. This one got a little bit more opaque than I thought. So we're gonna have to dip back into, um, trust it into the middle there, I think. Mm -hmm. 
And then it would also give a bit of a base for a shimmer. I forgot to bring a spray, so we'll test these shimmers out. If I need to, we can use my finger. So I'm going to go into Trusted again. And I'm just going to add some back in the middle here. Some swipey motions to try and blend it in nicer. All right, so let's do our bottom lash line and then we'll do a shimmer. And the bottom lash line, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the darkest shade, so me, for me and you, <laughs> and then I'm actually going to go into Honesty and I'm going to use that one that was close to the trusted shade. And that way we will have used them all and it's close enough that um, it shouldn't detract on the top lid there. And I'm going to take the smallest of the Sigma brushes that I have here, if it's clean, hold on, I think I might have some eyeliner on it. A little bit, but I got it off. So this is the E5 eyeliner and we are technically going to be the lining the bottom of our eye. There we go, just bring it to the bottom. Have curlers under my hair if you were wondering um, why I've got a headscarf on. I was watching my favorite movie from the 1940s called The Women and it got me inspired to curl my hair like this. Sleeping rollers curl my hair not just use my curl secret or run around with curlers in my hair. I didn't think I would get super motivated super fast this morning because I don't have to be to my parents till about two. So I thought I wouldn't have enough time to get a good curl if I did them, um, what's my call it, uh, just for a few hours during the day. It'd be nicer to do them all night. So uh, there we go. I think that's really nice there. So now we want to play with shimmers. Uh, we're gonna use, uh, oh, I forgot. See, I could have used my angle brush instead for the bottom lash line. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, so for shimmers, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of the dark one on the outer edge. Maybe I'll try and use three shimmers and see how that goes. So let's just start with the darkest one on the end that I finally, that I fondly call you. And that's the brush. Oh yeah, we're getting some color. I always forget at least one thing. And generally it's either the spray or if I'm going out, I will get in my car and I'll be like, ah oh, crap, I didn't put any mascara on. So now I've resorted to, I'm I had a Cali Ray um, mascara single. If I pop that in my purse, I've used it once, it's not bad. So, and then generally I usually have some um, Charlotte Tilbury samples because when I do an order and they ask what free samples you want, if I can get the mascara, I can, because I can't condone the cost of a single, another single mascara, but I do love them. Okay, so that's really pretty. Let's try a little bit with our finger because I should have enough room on the outer edge. So there we go. There we go. I've added just a touch more. I said I don't want to go crazy. I'm going to my parents. And plus we've got a really gorgeous highlighter to try. So I'm going to do some bling. Maybe it should be with highlighter. Okay, there we go. I love highlighter. Okay. So now we're gonna go into the next shimmer and I think instead of using the one from the Trusted, I'm going to go and brighten it up and use the one from Honesty. And then for the inner, we're going to be use the one from Never Apart. So the apart part. <laughs> All right, I know I'm being silly. Okay, so we're gonna go into the shimmer from Honesty. We're gonna stick that into the middle. Oh, this one picks up really, really nicely. I don't think you're going to see much difference on the eye itself, but you're just going to get a nice little bit of shimmer. And then I'm hoping we can try that liner. And then blend that over a little bit into the dark. Same on the other side. So these ones don't... Yeah, I think a spray or a finger is your best bet. 
maybe even a silicone sponge. It didn't do too bad with a brush. The lighter one better than the darker one. All right, so now let's quickly go into um, the lightest shade and never a part there, and we'll do that for the front. And for the, might do the um, right in the inner with the highlighter. So let's just leave some space there for that. Ooh, that's pretty. That one doesn't need spray or a finger. That might go bringing that into the medium shade a bit. And there we go. Oh, there we go. Now let's quickly play with that liner and then I'll go off camera to do the foundation part and then we'll come back to you and the bronzer part and then we'll do the other things together. Together. So, but let's quickly see. So in this one here, we have a darker brown and a lighter brown. So I think we should try the darker one and then each end is the shade and then they have a brush that's the middle part. So you could technically... All right, do the back again. All right. Let's see, I've not tried their liner before. Oh, interesting. So I was really liking, I was gifted a Juvia's Place liner and it had a very, very hard tip, but it was very precise and I really liked it. I just wish it was a bit, a teeny bit less hard, I guess is the word for it, and or firm. This may be it. This one has a nice firm tip, but it has a little bit more movement, a little less kind of crunchy feeling. Sometimes I find that if I put liner on the bottom lash line, just along the lashes, it makes my lashes look like I have a few more lashes without having to put fake lashes on. I love fake lashes, but I find if I wear them too long, I sometimes get a headache. So if I'm going to go somewhere to like my parents or something, I don't want to wear fake lashes. So I'm going to bring this up on this side here. So I am curious to see if I could do this. Maybe I can try it with the lighter shade and the waterline. Because it doesn't feel super runny either. There we go. Just like I said, you can't really see it. I just like to do it really close to the edge to kind of make that my lash line, lashes, once I have mascara on, look a little bit bigger. But I'm going to humor myself and I'm going to put, hopefully I won't blind myself now, take a little bit of this lighter one and I'm just going to, wow, I'm really getting blind. I might need a, yeah, it's too runny to put right in the water line. So we're just going to run it just along the bottom of the lash there to kind of fill that in a little bit. Yeah, it's not one that you can use in the water line. Oh well. But I do like the brushes in this and I do like that it's not super duper runny. I wish you could see it a little bit more, but like I said, I'm just gonna use it to make my lash line look a little bit better, I think. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go and put some base on and then we will back to use some of these other products. Okay, base is on. So I think our next thing we're going to do is brows. So again, we're using the P. Louise Hold You Down and then it comes in this heart and then it's like a gel that's inside. And then they send you a little spoolie to go with. So I thought I would use this one. I think my other spoolie that I'm using right now has, oh, what do they call it? I'm going to bend it a little bit. Give it a little bit of a bend. Um, and I'm just going to start by just tapping it in like so. It's a very sticky, very dense. Anyways, the other spoolie I have has a brown kind of like gel that I'm using. So we've got some on there. You can see that. Oh, hopefully I didn't take too much. We're going to find out. No, this is good. I mean, we have to find out if they hold all day, but here we can do a nice feathery brow. Let's do that today. Hmm. There we go. Wow, we will see. 
how that holds up. By the end of our look, we have our browser down, then you're gonna know no. But if not, then I will, if I remember, maybe put something up there because I thought I'd have enough time to edit and get it up before I go, but no, that is not the case. Alrighty, so we are trying the brow gel. I'm just gonna quickly stick on a little highlighter on the top here. All right, so there we go. So next up, let's go and try this blush. So this is the a flirty, a fir, flirty flush of color. Oh, words are hard. So anyways, it's the cheek. So P. Louise, and then it comes like so. I don't think you have to turn, do you have to turn it? I don't think so. So let's see if we squish, if anything comes up. Oh yeah, there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that was scary. So now I don't know if I want to stick this directly on my skin. So I I don't know what would be best, a brush for a brush for this or a sponge. I generally with cream products put a, use it with a sponge, but let's just for I guess I could have stuck it on my hand first. Oh yeah, there we go. This is a beautiful bit of color. So let's do the one cheek with the brush. And if it doesn't work the way I want to, then we can use the sponge or use both. Oh no, this is going fine on with the brush. It's very pinky. I thought it was a little bit more peachier, but yeah, I'm definitely more of a sponge gal for liquid blushes. So let's stick some on our sponge here. Oh yeah, that, that, that gets a lot. All right, let's just, I think we can probably put the lid back on. I'm going to probably try and store it sideways to start because I just don't, since it doesn't seem you can lock it, I don't want it to all come out. There we go. Oh, uh -oh she's awoken. <laughs> Hi, baby. They're like, oh, I'm doing something. I gotta go bugger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely have to play with this formula a little bit. But once I use my powder on top, that usually helps as well. Yeah, this definitely has color payoff, as you can tell. So I might have grabbed a little bit too much, but we will play with powder. Maybe let's do that before we put the highlighter on. So I'm just going to go with my pressed powder by ZZ Cosmetics and then I use my big fluffy Lois Cosmetics brush. It is my favorite powder brush that I have at the moment. So one thing I missed from the Black Friday from sale, it wasn't fast enough to get another set of brushes. So here we are. Oh baby, you almost my baby. Alrighty, so now it is time for the highlighter before doing lips. So here we go with the PL. This is Skin, Skin Bling Hollywood, in Hollywood Hills. And it has a mirror and then it has this oh, plastic off. This beautiful shade here. And then of course with the P. Louise again in there. And a very, very beautiful compact. I feel pretty bougie all like. Okay. So I brought one of my favorite highlighter brushes. So this is from Kaleidos. So let's just dip a little here. A little bit more. There we go. Let's see. Oh, let's use a brush here. Mirror where I can actually see something. Oh, that is blingy. Again, the additional powder. Let's just get that. Oh, my love, what is it? Mm, oh, I know. She's my noisy queen. All right. Oh, we like this highlighter. Yeah, I did go a little crazy with the blush, but. There we go, we look a little bit like Rudolph then, right? <laughs> okay, so 
the only thing we have left besides some mascara here is the lip kit. Oh, and, a and there was a gloss as well, which I think might match. So I'm gonna find out. Let's quickly throw on some mascaras. Mm -hmm. I'm almost finished. There we go. Got some mascara on and now it's time to play with our lip kit. So this is the Kiss and Makeup Luxury. Oh, give your lips the luxury they deserve lip kit. So that's here. And it is in Ruby Slipper and Rose Garden. So that is nice and Christmassy, I think. So it comes in beautiful packaging here. So you have this beautiful bullet lipstick and a lip pencil. As I'm not a, I do have some liquid lips that I really, really, really enjoy. I am in my, in my heart a bullet lips stick gal. So there's the liner there. It's already sort of sharpened. <laughs> Crooked there, there. All right, let's take a look. Oh, hello. This is going on nicely. Hmm. I love a traditional pencil that you can sharpen, but I don't like them when they're too hard. I don't like them when they're too soft. I like them when they're perfectly in the middle. And I think this is what we're getting here. lips are pretty dry. I tried exfoliating them before, but I think they are almost beyond help at the moment, even with a lip mask on. I might have to do it twice a day. But anyways, that color's nice. Please disregard the dry lips. So that's the lip pencil. That is Ruby Slipper. And then this is in the other shade, the Rose Garden. And it comes in like that. Oh, look at that. It's got like embossing on the, it's got the P. Louise little hearts. Oh, that's so nice. Mm, doesn't smell like anything. It smells a pretty good size bullet. Let's pop the lips on. Very orangey red. Hmm, goes on nicely. I'm not getting it on my teeth. Hi, honey. And there we go. There's our lipstick. And then we did have a lip gloss. And this is zero to 100 real thick. <laughs> thick formula lip gloss. Hello, yes, my darling. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, butt scratch. All right, there you go. Yeah, mom's almost finished. This video. Alrighty, so this is, well, it looks like it's a peachy pink. So I'm just going to take a little on my finger. I'm just gonna try and dab it and see. There I go. Yeah, that didn't impede with the color. Gave a little extra shine. It is a little sticky have to say I'm usually not a fan of a sticky gloss but we will see how that goes and right now maybe with um it being so cold that might be the thing Alrighty, so i'm gonna go and finish up some hair so then you can kind of see the full look that always makes makeup look better and so we will be back hey we're back and there we are this is going to be my christmas look still need to put on some earrings but i haven't decided which ones yet and i'm going to wear my grinch t-shirt because i'm a grinch just kidding <laughs> i was supposed to go to a friend's birthday party that was grinch themed but i was feeling really bad that day so i couldn't go but i thought i would wear the shirt for christmas <laughs> So let's discuss quickly the P. Louise products that we use. So number one was this um, 
cream liquid eyeshadow that we used as a primer. I think it did really good. I think you can see it's still a little bit on the edges. Again, nothing is cracking or getting weird. So, so far, so good. Um, then we went on to the eyeshadows. Again, neutral colors aren't generally my thing, but these are really, really beautiful. They go on really, really nicely. They blend amazing. I'm glad to have this little palette. And if I ever go traveling again, taking a, a small colorful and a small neutral one like this can go a long way. Um, the eyeliner, we'll have to play with it more. Like I said, I just put a little bit along the lash line and up the side there to kind of straighten that out a little bit a little bit along on the bottom but I do like the brush I did like the color I like how it went on so I'd like to do a look where I'm just maybe just using this or just one really light eyeshadow and using this but so far so good um let's see what else then what did we use oh okay the next we used the blush I like it I gotta tone down a little bit. <laughs> I just need to play with it a little bit, but I do like a blushy look. So I'm cool with it. I really, really, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. And then we did, oh, probably did this beforehand. We did the hold you down brows. I mean, so far they're still standing. Um, they don't feel super crunchy. Just uh, still, it's smidge sticky, but not a lot. Like just the smidgiest, smidgiest. So we'll see how long it lasts through the day. But I think, well, they're a little less, um, what's the word? A little less uh, feathery than they were. So maybe they have come down a little bit. But let's see if it settles that way. Because uh, generally I don't do feather brow, just every once in a while. Um, the highlighter, I really like this. It is very blingy, as you can see. I like a blingy highlighter. Again, this was Hollywood Hills. I usually do more icy or colored ones, but for champagne highlighter, I really, really do like it. Oh, I did want to stick some on my inner corner. We'll have to do that later because I put away my brushes. <laughs> and then lastly, we have the lip trio here. The lipstick feels really good. This has detacked a little bit. So that is good. I ha didn't have any hair so far sticking to it. So that's good. I mean, the color didn't really go, but it didn't really leave or change the color. So I think if you, I think it's more of a, a clear with just a little hint of color. Again, I liked the lipstick and it's been a few minutes, me doing my hair, um, spraying my face. It's uh, still hanging out there. So that's great. And the liner was really nice. Like I said, I really do like a pencil. It is not too soft, not too hard, which is the perfect in the middle. So, so far I'm really enjoying my birthday, or birthday gift, my Christmas gift. Thanks again, Wilma. And yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, please give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still do sort of kind of neutral Christmas looks for going to our parents. <laughs> um, as always, behave, make good choices, and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Okay.